Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Eli Fi back at you guys with another video and within today's video I'm gonna talk about about my opinion about this whole situation that's going on right now Well, I wouldn't really really consider it a situation just an opinion that I've been thinking about and that, and that I've been considering for a very long time so Obviously the um before the season started the Brooklyn Nets were a team that were viewed as, as contenders and I said the same thing I thought the same thing just as any other NBA fan would think that the Brooklyn Nets are contenders but there has just been one thing that I've been thinking about and that could be potentially the Brooklyn Nets biggest downfall and that in my opinion is Kyrie Irving so why do I say that in my opinion Kyrie Irving can weigh down this team a lot due to his like you know the things that he does usually in regards to his mentality state of things of regards to him missing games him being trying to be the leader and just breaking the, key, uh, the team's chemistry in general and so forth and so forth like that and there has been an instance where Kyrie Irving took a few days off of the NBA due to personal reasons and there has been a quote that stated that Kyrie Irving literally said that he didn't feel like playing at all so there has been recently it, it been recently discovered that Kyrie Irving was attending a family party but that's just been what's discovered we don't know what Kyrie Irving has been doing outside of that party we don't know what he's been doing and as you guys already know the COVID-19 has been taking effect in regards to this NBA as a whole as you guys can see the Philadelphia 76ers they literally losing their whole roster in regards to the COVID-19 with Seth Curry and this along the guidelines like that and they really are losing their roster and they're losing games due to that standpoint and if Kyrie Irving is spotted like exposed to somebody that has COVID-19 or is dealing with that situation Kyrie Irving will obviously miss games and that could lead to the team chemistry dropping downhill and team chemistry is a very important thing to have in basketball if you want to win a championship and obviously the Brooklyn Nets are looking to win a championship looking at how they structured their team with Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving and the deep bench and deep, the depth that this team has in general and if Kyrie continues his mentality his way of going things in regards to him missing games due to him not wanting to play no more obviously that's like um that, that's like a lot of games that he's missing and he's not with the team playing games so that's gonna ruin the chemistry and if it would be even worse if he's dealing with somebody or is he's like exposed to somebody with COVID-19 for a long period of time and he's like missing even more games to that standpoint due to him not wanting to play games because obviously as you guys already know he says that he's missing games due to him not wanting to play we don't know like I've already said we don't know what he's doing outside of the NBA we don't know for sure until somebody finds that out so it was recently reported by the time I'm recording this video as of right now that the NBA is investigating Kyrie Irving right now to, to know for sure to find out what exactly Kyrie Irving has been doing because apparently there's a video with Kyrie Irving maskless in regards to him attending his family party and that's just a precaution that the NBA has to take because it's no you don't want to risk a player coming back into the league do it with like a big change in regards to bringing COVID-19 to more players in the NBA league as a whole so in regards to that standpoint if Kyrie Irving is revealed that he has COVID-19 he will miss a lot of games and that will potentially make the Nets lose even more games because when Kyrie Irving returns back to the lineup the chemistry will be thrown off because team their teammates on the Brooklyn Nets they wouldn't have they're not going to be able to play with Kyrie Irving for a long period of time and just bringing a star like Kyrie Irving back on the roster out of out of the blue like that it's going to be hard to just like mesh with Kyrie Irving as a whole or play or game plan with Kyrie Irving on the floor with you because you barely play with him re in recent games now this event regarding Kyrie Irving has just been what recently has been going on but if you guys already know Kyrie Irving has a history and I mean a history of literally like destroying team chemistry on Boston and you could say the, the Cleveland Cavaliers because I mean I would say the Cleveland Cavaliers actually because if you look at his early days in the Cleveland Cavaliers he was the leader of the team he really wasn't doing anything but just playing like basketball just playing solid basketball it's just the fact that his team wasn't good, good around him at the time so obviously he wasn't going to be able to win games but like you guys already know that was when LeBron James came back just basically lifted the this team out of the gutters and basically won them a championship and then when they lost in 2017 against the Golden State Warriors that was when Kyrie Irving started his massacre of you know destroying team chemistries in my opinion and this was been this around this time this was the time where Kyrie Irving said he wanted to leave the Cleveland Cavaliers because 
He was tired of being in LeBron James' shadow. He wanted to be the Batman and not the Robin. And as you guys already know, he got traded to Boston for Isaiah Thomas. And things in Boston didn't go as planned for Kyrie Irving. Now, during the 2018-19 NBA season, it was obviously looked at as Kyrie Irving being the main first option of the Boston Celtics. And that ultimately led Kyrie Irving to have to be the leader for this team. And Kyrie Irving didn't portray his leadership in a good way at all in this season for the Boston Celtics because as you guys already know there were a bunch of locker room issues regarding Kyrie Irving and the Celtics like arguing and stuff like that I don't remember exactly what they were arguing about but there were a lot of instances in regards to them arguing with Kyrie Irving being a leader and I remember this one play where it was like a game winning shot that Kyrie Irving wanted the ball in his hands to take and somebody else took it I think it was Jason Tatum or Gordon Hare or one of those two players and Kyrie Irving got mad at one of the players that passed it to one of those two players who took the shot ultimately at the end and basically criticized that player to pass him the ball next time and he was mad at the fact that the game ended that way because it didn't end in Kyrie Irving having the ball in his hand so things escalated in that standpoint and that ultimately led Kyrie Irving to leave the Boston Celtics in the end and to team up with Kevin Durant in the long run now if you really think about it there has to be a reason as to why Kyrie Irving was such a big issue and in regards to him like you know being an issue for the Celtics players and the Celtics roster in general so I did some research and I found a video of Kyrie Irving doing an interview and he basically explains the 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 events that occurred in regards to the 2018-19 NBA season with Kyrie Irving and the Boston Celtics Scott really really rocky for me in terms of when I left for, I believe you know, after the Phoenix game, I went to my grandfather's memorial and he passed on October 23rd. And after he passed, basketball was the last thing on my mind. So a lot of basketball and the joy I had from it was sucked away from me. And there was a facial expression that I carried around with me throughout the year. It didn't allow anyone to get close to me in that instance. And it really bothered me. And um, I didn't take, uh, you know the necessary steps to get counseling or get therapy or anything to deal with someone that close to me dying I've never dealt with anything like that so for me I responded in ways that are uncharacteristic and like I said I had to acknowledge that fact and I had to acknowledge that fact to the organization first because that was our internal bond and trust that we had I talked to Danny I wanted to resign so throughout the year it started becoming more and more clear that my relationships within my home life have way higher precedent than the organization or anyone and I barely got a chance to talk to my grandfather before he passed from playing basketball so you tell me if you would want to go to work every single day knowing that you just lost somebody close to you doing a job every single day that everyone from the outside or anyone internally is protecting you for. So now we fast forward towards Kyrie Irving playing for the Brooklyn Nets and Kyrie Irving has a post game interview and Kyrie Irving basically explains to the media that the Brooklyn Nets are a few pieces away or the Brooklyn Nets are not as they're, they're not where they're supposed to be if they want to win an NBA championship. So then he implies that the roster of the Brooklyn Nets they need a complete change and that involves trading a couple players such as Karis LeVert, Spencer to Dinwiddie and so on and so on trading the roster for better players in order for the Brooklyn Nets to be able to compete for a championship and if you guys don't know that's an obvious sign of Kyrie Irving destroying the team chemistry because if I was a player on the Brooklyn Nets and I heard Kyrie Irving said that about the roster and that includes me I would I wouldn't want to play with Kyrie Irving anymore and if the team chemistry is broken you're not going to be able to win basketball games so as a whole that explains Kyrie Irving history of being a like a sort of a team cancer and his standpoint and he has done a lot of things that basically destroy team chemistry and like I've already said before the season started when Kevin Durant was supposed to be back which he is back right now obviously people and NBA fans expected this team to be a contender for Katie and Kyrie being one of the best duels in the league and having a deep roster but I was thinking if Kyrie, Kyrie Irving should not have to he should he he can't do what he did in the past if this Brooklyn Nets team wants to win a championship and if he does if he continues to do what he does this team is not going to win a championship and Kyrie Irving will be the cause of one of the biggest downfalls for the Brooklyn Nets if Kyrie Irving continues his actions that he's done in the past.
Kyrie Irving is a great player. He has won a championship with the all-time LeBron James in 2016. He could potentially win another championship, the Brooklyn Nets' first ever championship in franchise history with Kevin Durant. He is the top, he's in my opinion, a top three point guard in the league right now. He's a great player. You can't take that away from him, but you, I mean, you guys all have to agree. He has to switch up his mentality and he has to switch up his way about going about things if he wants to win a championship. And that involves to basically not destroy team chemistry like he's already done in the past. And the one last thing that I want to address that involves Kyrie Irving is the fact that earlier before the season started, Kyrie Irving did not want anything to do with the media. And that involves the media switching up the story, switching up narratives uh, just, just to make like a player look worse than what they are to basically you know make like the sport get more money or basically put more money in their pockets basically make things go trending more i support Kyrie Irving on that i wouldn't want a false narrative a false rumor that's completely not true going around the league or just basically going around the world that basically implies that i'm not a good person or just not a good player in general based on what my actions do so i support i completely support Kyrie Irving on that but in order for the Brooklyn Nets to win a championship in my opinion I feel like they have the necessary tools to win a championship. I feel like they have everything that they can have, they could wish for in order for them to win a championship in regards to the structure of the roster and basically just all the odds are going in their favor in my opinion. But Kyrie Irving cannot destroy the team chemistry. He cannot miss games. He cannot miss too many games to basically not play with his team to basically throw off the chemistry in that standpoint. He can't cause any locker room issues. And if he's completely good on both of those standpoints, I feel like the Brooklyn Nets have a great shot at winning a championship. But that will be the end of today's video. I feel as though I addressed a lot of supporting claims that to basically get my point across in regards to this whole topic of the video. I probably did address um all like every single one of like the things that I should have addressed in this video. But I feel like I've addressed most of the things that involves Kyrie Irving and the Brooklyn Nets as a whole. But other than that, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel. I will greatly appreciate it. I'm out. Peace.